So we agree. The third house and their blow-up decorations were atrocious. But the Coco was to die for. I don't know what they did to make it so rich, but I can oh, still taste it. Huh. And you could tell that from just a few sips? Oh, that's incredible. <laughs> You've got a really talented tongue, you know that? <coughs> palate. I mean, <laughs> I meant palate. Damn it, I walked right into that one. You know what I mean. Anyway, their cocoa definitely earned my vote. What about you? Let me guess, you voted for the house with the apple turnovers. Huh? I knew it. Those were... Mwah, magnificent. You're doing it, aren't you? You're wondering about how to remake them. I can tell. When you're thinking really hard, you make this face that looks like you're angry. I'm just being observant. And I'd like to think that I've learned a little bit about you from this last week. Yeah, for example. Okay, when you're really happy, you have this smile that lights up the world around you. Like a... Like a lone star on a dark winter's night. <laughs> no. I don't use that line on every man I meet. Just the ones that go on Christmas like tours with me. And here is your stop. So, uh, did you have fun tonight? I did too. Kind of not wanting this night to end, to be honest. Oh, you sure? I I don't want to impose. Well, of course I'd love to come in for a drink, but... Are you sure I'm not overstaying my welcome? I mean, we've been attached at the hip for over a week now. <laughs> well... I suppose one drink wouldn't hurt. Hmm... Now this... This feels like Christmas. A roaring fire, glass of wine, and sharing it with good company. <clears throat> Excuse you. I can drink this as slowly as I want. Because I am enjoying it, unlike you. You are downing it like a frat boy at happy hour. Look, it's not just wine. Oh good thing should be enjoyed slowly. <coughs> oh, hey! <laughs> Leave my sex life out of this. <laughs> wow. I can't believe you went there. Don't make me cut you off. Because you're assuming things about me that you don't have any idea about. That's a weird, roundabout way to ask if I'm seeing anyone. No, I'm not. While I'm flattered that you find me, uh, handsome as hell, I believe you put it, doesn't change the fact that I'm single. Yeah, believe me. My love life is not worth talking about. Because it's depressing. Can we go back to talking shit about everyone's house decorations? That's way more fun. Sure, we're friends, but... <sighs> Alright. You asked for this. And you take full responsibility for killing the mood, okay? Okay. My last relationship was with my... Well, guess now he's an ex-fiancé. 
Yeah, I was engaged once to my high school sweetheart. I had promised him that I would give him the wedding of his dreams if he'd wait for me to graduate from university. The plan was that I'd get my degree in engineering, get a good job, and then we could afford to tie the knot. Life, city boy. Life happened. I told you before that I was in a car accident, right? I had hydroplaned off the road in the middle of a rainstorm and hit a tree. Spent a good chunk of that year laying in a hospital bed. <sighs> if I had a dime for every time I heard that. Yeah, it was a miracle that I survived, but it didn't feel like it. Not at first, anyway. It was the darkest season of my life. I couldn't walk, couldn't go back to college. And when I thought that was the worst of it, my fiance gave me back the ring. And I, well, I hit my rock bottom. I have no clue. To this day, I don't know why he ended things. And he didn't stick around long enough for me to ask. Cece figures that he bailed because it was unknown if I would be able to take care of him. We'll never know. <laughs> Dodge the bullet, huh? Yeah, my sister said the same thing. But I mean, if it wasn't for her getting me out of the pit, I don't know where I'd be today. Oh, she dragged my ass out of it. She cheered me on through physical therapy and convinced her now husband to give me a job at his handyman business. Yeah, I'm doing much better now. Oh, jeez, that was a rabbit trail, wasn't it? Sorry. To answer your question, that's why I'm not seeing anyone right now. My heart needed to heal before I could trust someone again. Mm. I could be ready. But I don't want to dive into the dating pool just because I've been single for a while, you know? I'm hoping that one day I'll meet someone who will see me as more than just a wallet. Someone special. Someone like... Hey, what's wrong? Oh, shit, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. Hey, come here. Let me just dry these tears. No. He didn't hurt my feelings. Not at all. Believe me, it was so long ago that it doesn't affect me anymore. Though I... I did try to warn you. <laughs> Nah, we'll call it payback for all the times I've been nosy about you. But no. No, you don't get to take revenge against my ex. Damn, that wine has unleashed a vicious side to you. Hey, if you go after my ex, I'm going after your competitors. Yeah, the ones that made you shut down your bakery. For sugar daddy's honor, I'll burn him to the ground. <laughs> Kidding. Kidding! Alcohol and violence are not a good combo. <laughs> I appreciate that you want to defend me, but... I don't know. It doesn't matter anymore. Thank you for asking. But I'm alright. 
Trust me, just spending time with you has given me more than you'll ever know. No, it hasn't been easy. But, I don't know, I've learned that I can't look forward and miss all the good things coming if I keep looking back at what I lost, you know? You know me, I'm always the optimist. But I didn't become one overnight. And it helped to always believe that tomorrow will bring more than the heartache I experienced today. Hmm. I know it's easy for me to preach this stuff because I'm on the other side of the pit, but right now, you're in it. I can't tell you when it'll be over, but I can tell you that it won't be like this forever. Just take one day at a time. You went through a huge life change after all. Give yourself grace to feel what you need to feel, but just keep reminding yourself to not stay in those emotions forever. Someday, you'll look back and realize that you climbed out of the pit a long time ago. Until then, take heart and trust that good things will replace the bad. Of course they will. Because a man like you deserves good things. <laughs> when I said take heart. That wasn't an invitation to reach over and touch my chest. No, you don't have to stop. Hmm. You're such a gentle touch. Yeah, I suppose my heart is beating kind of fast. I guess you have that effect on me. You're making that thinking face again. What's on your mind? I'm sure I like hugs, but... Oh! Oh! Oh, wow. You just went for it. No, no. You're good. Is it okay if I hug you back? Thank you. Are you, are you okay with this? As long as you're comfortable. Me? It's been a long time since I've held anyone like this. I might be rusty at it. Well, I'll take your word for it. How long has it been since you felt like you could relax like this? If it makes you feel any better, it's been a while for me, too. Probably since I was in the hospital. I guess we both needed this. Hey, for, for what it's worth, I think that you're a wonderful person. And although your bakery is gone, you have so much more to offer to the world and to others that you give yourself credit for. Yeah, you do. Don't give up just yet. And when you go back to the big old city and the good things finally come, you can call me up and tell me all about it. Of course I want to know. I'm nosy as hell, remember? 
<laughs> oh, is that right? You want to know when I start dating again? Hmm. 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 Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. It would take someone real special to to get me to fall in love again. Hmm. But who knows? Maybe I'm closer than I think. <laughs>